Welcome back to Virtual School Assembly. Today our guest is Justin Mott. Justin is a video production artist, a reporter, and a photographer. He's a full-time reporter for the, a radio station and also runs his own digital media company where he streams live events, takes photographs, and makes videos, uh, including commercials. He's made two mini documentaries, one on a World War II veteran uh, and another on the Texas Railroad Commissioner Wayne Christian. Uh, Justin, welcome to the show today. Oh, good, good to be here. So I'm excited to talk to you because you do so many different creative things. But before we get into that, tell us a little bit about who you are and your background, where are you from? Uh, and tell us a little bit about um, like your childhood and what you were interested in. Okay, well, I'm from East Texas. I was born in Houston, Texas, actually, and I've lived in East Texas most of my life. Um, I am a textbook example of what not to do, don't go and uh, try to do a bunch of different things. Pick something <laughs> if you can when you're younger and stick with it. So I've, I've tried the military. That didn't work out. I've tried a few other things, but I finally found my passion in photography and video stuff, which I liked doing actually as a child and wanted to be a cameraman, mm -hmm. but I, I, I thought that was too uh, ambitious. And But now here I am doing it. So very cool. Years later. So how did you get into it? Um, it sounds like you've tried a lot of different things. How did you find the land where you are? Uh, well, I was working in retail and uh, I happened to meet somebody that worked at the radio station and they told me that there was a position that may be coming up. So I applied and I got it. And then I, I have worked with uh, cameras before. I did a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and made silly videos. But uh, I had some background with doing video work, and this job allowed me to practice, practice, and practice. And then I did a lot of self-study, learning the holy trinity of photography, which is ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, and a lot of videos on Peter McKinnon and other YouTube right. uh, video guys. So, so I, I like where you're coming from because for a lot of kids who are interested in doing video and doing photography, it starts with YouTube because YouTube's free and you can test it out and making silly videos might, you know, you, maybe you didn't become YouTube famous, but it helped you develop those skills. Now you mentioned that you're learning this Holy Trinity. Um, how are you learning? Is it through watching YouTube videos? Are you reading books? How, how are you getting your education? Uh, well, I have, taken one or two classes on photography. I also did a photography certificate in photojournalism. I'm working on my bachelor's in journalism right now. Cool. So that, that was some photo study, but most of it was self-study and then just getting out there and doing it, practice. Cool. Uh, so YouTube videos, a little bit of reading, but mostly YouTube videos and practice. Yeah, and that's a good lesson for you kids watching this. If you want to develop a new skill, it's learning about it and it might be taking a class, but more likely you're going to do the self-study and then just go do it, go practice and, and make a few mistakes. So that's a really good um, suggestion there, Justin. Now you, you run a, this digital media company as a side gig uh, in addition to, to what you do there in the radio station. Tell us a little bit about how that started and what you're doing on the side. Well, uh, I've spent a lot of money on photo equipment. It's not cheap if you want to get into it. Uh, right. Buy used if you can. Make sure that it's it's good quality, but uh, there's several different websites out there that sell used gear. Mm -hmm. But do your research. Now, as far as a side business, I just, I had bought so much stuff and I had used it for the job up here. So I, I started doing my own thing and uh, making a little bit of money doing freelance work and I do a church broadcast on Sundays and uh, I do video commercials and weddings and yeah. So I'm slowly but surely growing my business. I'm not to where I want to be, but I'm, I'm making it. And I, I think that's pretty good right now with everything going on in the world. So yeah, you know, Justin, that's why I was so excited to have you on the show is because you're in the middle of this. And we've had people on the show that are, you know, we've had Academy Award winning producers, and we've had really famous videographers. 
but I like that you're kind of in the growing stage because we can see that you're doing the same thing that all these famous people did. It's get the equipment, start messing around with it, start something on the side, and it grows slowly, right? You're not gonna get fully booked overnight, you know, doing weddings all the time or whatever, but it's something that you can grow slowly. Now, if you could go back in time and start over again, what would you have done differently, maybe to speed up the process to get to where you are now? If I would have done, if I could go back in time, I would shake myself and say, try to do something creative. Mm -hmm. Don't mess around with the military. That's, that's for some people, not everybody. Right. Don't, uh, don't think that you can't do it. And I would have straight out of high school, probably went for a degree in animation, like mm -hmm. 3D animation. Right. something like that because I've taught myself all the video stuff and I'm also learning 3d animation right now so cool yeah and these are skills that you'll be able to use for forever and so as you develop them you know that's something that now you have in your back pocket that you can say this is one more skill that I bring to the job or bring to my own creative endeavors so that's really cool let's look forward now we've looked back let's look forward um, where where would you like to be five, 10 years from now? What's kind of your dream scenario as far as creating things? I guess my dream scenario would be ideally to work on documentaries maybe. And uh, uh, if my animation skills get good enough, maybe do some kind of animations like Pixar, but that I, I'm better at the video than the animation. I'm still learning on that. Yeah. Well, and you have some great experience working on documentaries. You've shot a few yourself. Um, tell us a little bit about that experience. Why did you decide the topics you did for your documentaries and what did you learn as you shot those? Uh, I learned uh, things will go wrong on a shoot. Mm -hmm. I brought a light and I think that one of my lights broke on me or it malfunctioned or something. And then also I was, having a, a trouble getting power at the, the old gentleman that I interviewed's house. So, um, but I, I got enough light and made it work. Right. Uh, so things will go wrong, have a backup plan, um, different camera angles and positions. So after you do an interview, you may want to set up a shot like where you're doing an introduction shot of somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, so go ahead and get your interview, get that done. And then you can do the, the introduction shots and the other stuff because the interview is the main thing. That's why you're there. And right. uh, by the time they do all the other stuff, if you did all that first, then your interviewee may be tired, huh. especially if they're an older person. So, yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen that. I we've shot some interviews um, in just for family history and stuff like that. So I've gone to my grandma who's 98 right now and shot some videos. And yeah, the beginning of the videos, she's great. She's vibrant. She's talking really well, but by the end, she's tired. And so you have to consider those things, no matter what your environment is. If you're not shooting a person, you have other environmental factors and things like that. So it, it's good to mess around and, and try to figure those things up along the way. But um, as Justin suggests, there's a lot that you can do up front just to be prepared, to have various camera angles and to do things in the right kind of sequence. So that's great suggestions, uh, Justin. So for kids who are thinking about becoming creatives, whether it's doing animation or videography or photography, do you have any just general advice on what they can be doing while they're in like junior high, high school to prepare to develop those skills? Uh, join your high school paper if you have one or high school, uh, whatever that you can go and take pictures of sports games and school events. That'll get you some practice. Also get some video clips, uh, study what you can and practice while you can. There's a lot of great free programs out and as time goes on, they just get better and better. If you want to get into animation, there's a free program. It's called Blender. It does 3d animation, 2d animation. It's 100% free. It gets updates and some, some big, uh, productions have used it or, moderate productions at least they've made several movies on Netflix with it so yeah pretty good yeah, program blender's a great platform um, and especially considering it's free because it's pretty robust so that's really cool now Justin if kids want to connect with you or follow you on social media or anything like that is there a best place for them to find you online uh, Mott media on Facebook 
Okay. And uh, there was a, I, we also have a YouTube channel. I don't think I have enough followers to have an actual name, but it should be Mott Media on YouTube if you look us up, but I don't have the channel name yet. Yeah, you can still search for it and it will come up with Mott Media. So cool. We'll link those in the description on this video then. Well, Justin, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you so much for your time. All right. You have a good day.